Well, good morning. It's Jimmy from Stewart Arts, and uh, today we're going to do something just a little bit different. I don't think I've ever mentioned before that I enjoy doing a little painting from time to time. And uh, today it's a cold winter day here in South Florida. I think it was, uh, it's 65 degrees here today, but there's a wind chill uh, advisory and it has us in the high 50s. So I'm feeling very wintry today. I have my uh, convenience market hot chocolate here and I'm in, just kind of relaxing in the shop and I thought I would do something a little low key. Recently here in Stewart, I went to a yard sale and I bought uh, this oil painting. Looking at the painting, it's a, it's a canvas on board. It looks like it's quite old. I, I'm going to guess this thing is you know 1940s, maybe earlier possibly. You got a few little nicks and dings here and there and uh, there's some discoloration to it. So we're going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Sometimes I look at these paintings and I get the distinct impression that the artist did not follow through uh, with the full thought that they had when they started the project. And, it's, and I understand this. Sometimes I get into something and, and I get to a certain point and I just say, you know what, I, I just need to go ahead and, and finish this thing. And so this, pa this painting, it's decent technically, but I feel that the artist stopped short of fully expressing what they had in mind. So. I'm going to do a little restoration work with this painting today and I'm going to see what I can do to complete the artist's thoughts. So follow along. All right, now we'll go clean it up. Got a uh, warm, wet, soapy utility towel, a little washcloth. I find that uh, that cuts grease and, you know, cigarette smoke and stuff like that. And uh, I can see a little bit of it coming off. I don't think I've ever shared the front part of my shop. Um, I have uh, some storage here in the middle, and then up front, I have a, a regular showroom uh, or waiting room. And uh, I do a little bit of painting uh, when the mood hits me. I'm not very good, but I've done a number of little paintings and so forth over the years. Uh, this is my little workstation here, and uh, here's our project for today. And I'll be doing uh, work with acrylics. Um, I've always uh, felt that I only rated these cheap little acrylic paints like you can get at Michael's for, you know, 49 cents. Uh, but my mother, she has much more faith in me. And for my birthday, she bought me all these really nice acrylics. So I'll be using some of those today uh, as I uh, go through this restoration. I like to uh, kind of pencil in plan for how I'm going to handle the restoration I'm using a real sharp tip brush here to get into some of the details I actually think it's okay to have uh, varying grades of, of cover with the, the white background because when you put the color on top of it later I think it adds a lot of texture to it okay I've got the white uh, underlayment in in all the areas that I'm going to restore Well, it's time to go for the day, so I'll just leave it here to dry for the night. Um, I feel it's coming along fairly well, and uh, I'll finish it up in the morning. All right, it's Tuesday morning, and uh, we are back at work here. Good progress yesterday, pretty happy with the results. Chatterbox Cafe, who are not used to running. They are not runners, and uh, you can tell by their gait, they look like panicked geese. Little Krebsbach, who can swear like nobody else. She could swear for two or three minutes without repeating herself. She's got gumption, gumption. All right, the painting is done. I'm uh, just erasing some of my little guidelines that uh, I penciled on here at the beginning.
finished product. I hope Maury would approve.